putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York. So Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a mod that will completely transform your BMW. So we're gonna go out to the car and I'm gonna show you what this mod is and how it will transform your whole car. Okay guys, as you'll see here, we're with my BMW M5 and this is gonna to apply to all the BMW range. This isn't simply for the BMW. As many of you guys will know, when BMW leave the factory, they restrict the top speed limiter so you cannot do the full top speed on the speedo. But today I'm gonna to be showing you the fuse where and where that's located and how to remove that to benefit from the full top speed limiter on your car. And I'm gonna show you how to remove it and in that way you'll be able to get access to it and um, get the full top speed out of your car. This does apply for all BMWs but I'm gonna be showing you how to do that on the M5 because I know a lot of people in the US, yours are restricted to 180 or 185 I believe, and you can't get the full range of the power. And this is the same for the M52s as well. I've already done this and it's located in the same position on my other E60 with the M52 engine. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on the M5 as well. So the first thing you wanna remove guys is you wanna remove all this plastic casing all around here, all underneath, which is basically where the pollen filters are. You wanna take all this out and you wanna gain access to the whole top of the engine from removing all these plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all that right now. So right now we're just gonna lift this up and we're just gonna slide that over and take that off. Then we're gonna now gonna remove this casing as well. So we just undone that tab. We need to get a 30 mil socket to go down here and remove that as well, which is the casing. So we're just gonna get a 30 mil socket, spin that around and take that out as you see there we're just going to get a 30 mil socket here and locate that and turn that one as well and turn that one which is right here so we can take this completely out so as you'll see right there now guys this is the fuse box we've now accessed the fuse box now what we're going to do is we're going to get our island key bolt and we're going to release all the bolts here to expose the ACU box, which is where the ECU sits, and this is where all the relays and all the fuses sit on the BMW, which is in the engine bay. These are the engine bay fuses. These are the ones that control the majority of the electrics. These are also the ones that control the top speed limiter as well, and this is why they hide it away here, so you cannot access it, and you cannot get to it. A lot of people are not gonna believe me when I say it's here, but I'm about to show you what fuse it is to locate, and especially on your M5, remove it, and your M5 will have full power. Um, we're also gonna be changing other things along the line while we're in here as well, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do all that as well. So we're just going to go ahead and release all the bolts for the ECU box itself. And now they're all released, we're just going to let the ECU box cover up itself and take it out. And then as you'll see there, we've now got a load of different ECUs for the main engine compartment. Now, if you open this box up, you also know from normal E60s, every, they're all here regardless of what engine it is. You'll have the ECU in here and also the transmission control unit. This one has the SMG control unit. Um, on the normal E60 it doesn't because it's built into the gearbox with the mechatronics that doesn't have the automatic gearbox control unit, only the ECU in here, but we have them all located in here. This is where you'll find all your controls for everything else. This is the ECU right here for the MSS65 and you've also got the SMG control unit right there as well. Now, the relays we're gonna be replacing are gonna be these ones right here for the SMG, which is this one and that one. We're gonna be replacing them as well, but you guys are wanting to know what fuse it was to remove for the top speed limiter, which I'm about to show you now. This one, 10 amp fuse, hidden right here. This is what controls your top speed and this is what restricts it now. They do this in a lot of vans here as well and a lot of lorries to restrict the speed to 65 miles an hour or trucks as you guys in the US will call it. It's trucks, this fuse is what restricts your speed so you cannot go to the full VMAX on your speedo. This is the fuse right here that they put in line. It's in line with all the fuse. This is the bobbin that connects back to the speedo and it uh, sends it back to the ECU for the speed. It controls back to the crank, the flywheel on the gearbox and also the engine timing as well. And this fuse controls it and cuts it off so it cannot go over the certain speed threshold. If you take that fuse out, you'll have that. I haven't took it out of my M5, but it's something I plan to do as well later on. We are gonna be replacing these relays here though. These two at the back of the box, the black one and the green one. So we're gonna take them out and replace them. We've got two other new ones and as many of you guys know, it's a common fault that these go out 
and end up damaging the SMG gearbox on the M5. It's very, very well known, and they end up overheating, they blow the contacts on, side the re on the relay itself, and then they overheat, and then you end up with the cog light on your gearbox. With your gearbox not responding correctly, or sometimes your cog light will come on and then go off, or your uh, SMG pump won't prime, or it'll prime too long and it'll blow this relay, especially if you have a 40 SMG pump, it'll end up blowing these relays. So we're gonna change them out just for peace of mind. So as you'll see here, guys, I've got two brand new ones. These are direct from BMW itself. They cost me 30 pound. I bought two brand new ones for this car to replace them with. I'm gonna be replacing them. It's just peace of mind mostly because I want to change. I'm about to change the gearbox fluid on this car as well. So I bought two brand new ones for BMW. I didn't skip out, as you see there. We've got two brand new ones all there with the receipt as well from BMW. And I'm just gonna replace them. They gotta go in like for like, so we're gonna take them out and just replace them the same way, like for like. So you wanna be able to monitor the first one, which is right here. You wanna monitor where that one goes and you wanna open this one and put it exactly the same way. So we're gonna take this one out of the packet and we're gonna take this one out. So this one goes like that. So you just wanna remember what position it goes in before you pull it out. So we just put it back in. So that's one in and we're gonna keep these relays because there was nothing wrong with them in the start. So we're just gonna keep them. Now we're gonna replace the black one. Again, you just follow the pattern the way they go round. So for instance, this one now goes this way round. So this would be the way that you're gonna to wanna to do it. With the right in that way round and you wanna insert it into the box again. So we're gonna take it out. You're probably gonna hear the SMG pump prime. So we're now gonna stick that back inside like that. And that one's in as well. Same way it come out. And then that's that done. So now we've got new relays in for the SMG itself. Now we know that's done. So we don't have to worry about that in case the SMG pump wants to go or this could cause the SMG pump to fail. Cause what ends up happening is the contacts here end up burning out. It burns out the relay inside and all four contacts ain't making contact constantly. And what will happen is it will leave your SMG pump priming too long or it can cause it to burn itself out or the pump not to work. Uh, can, one of them is for the cooler as well, the transmission oil cooler, so it can end up burning itself out as well. That's why we're replacing them, just to be on the safe side. They might have been replaced already. I didn't see a receipt inside the service history, therefore I'm not taking no chance on them replacing them. But that's the job done, guys. Now we're gonna put everything back together and finished. So we're refitting is just vice versa, guys. You just wanna screw your bolts back down into the cabin. Make sure it's completely sealed, because you don't want water to get in here and destroy your ECU box either. As many of you guys know, in the US, it's a common problem. You end up getting in your water into your ECU box and it destroys your ECU. And I'm having to do a lot of ECUs for you guys, uh, cloning wise. I'm gonna clone a lot of ECUs because of water damaged ECUs. Another thing is don't think of trying to leave bolts off because you're too lazy to get into the corners to get them off because what will happen is if you leave a gap in it will get condensation in here and that's when your ECU ends up getting condensation in as well because of the heat. You don't want to leave this open by any means at all. You want to make sure it's tight and down completely so no water, no condensation getting. You've got to remember heat and obviously water will cause condensation in the ECU box and all the wiring. Something you do not want. It's a common problem on the E46 M3 as well. All right guys, so there you have it. Everything's put back together. The Plastics are now back on, the pollen filter's back on. Everything's now bolted down, everything's secure. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is start up the car, make sure there's no lights, and just listen to the SMG pump, make sure it's all fully functioning. And that's it, guys, that's job done. That's the fuse you're gonna pull to get the full speedo, so you can get it de-restricted. A lot of you guys in the US always ask me what the fuse is for that. I only know where it is because BMW show it on their system, so I know where it, the location is of it. But it's the same as in vans. In a lot of vans and trucks, they put a fuse in that just restricts the speedo only to a certain speed, and you remove it and the van just flies. It's the same thing we always have here in the UK. So there's where the fuse is. Hope this video actually helps you guys. So as you see there guys, no faults whatsoever. The gears go in, it was gonna put it in reverse. Yeah, we're getting the sound from reverse. Put it in drive. We're getting it from drive as well. Everything's fully functioning. Just change over the relays. This is a very good thing to do as preservative maintenance because then relays do fail and it's everywhere. Even if you look online, people know that, even BMW know that. If your SMG pump was to fail and you went to BMW, they will be replacing them relays because it does burn them out over the time of keep working, working, working. So it does make sense to change them because they could be the reason why your gearbox is shifting funny as well because the contacts are gone. So it's a good thing to actually just change them and make sure the car functions as intended. But as you see there, it is a very simple job. It takes less than five minutes and you know what? 
what, it will save you money later on down the line. And it's only for £30, so it's very, very cheap just to replace the both relays. Okay guys, so as you've seen, I've just shown you now how to get more power from your BMW and how to de-restrict the speedo so you can get the full speed from the speedo that you see. So for instance, if you see 160 and your car only does 142 miles an hour, pull that fuse, they're located all in the same position. And I will do another video showing you where it is on the M52 as well, so you guys can see that as well. So you can see it's always the same. That fuse links up to the DME. That's why that bobbin's there, the wires creep together underneath that links them up together as well and that's what that fuse is stopping you doing the speed you could easily remove the bobbin and rewire the wires back together and that fuse will be useless but it just doesn't make sense just take out the fuse and that will de-restrict it because that fuse is what's keeping you from going over the top speedo on your car itself it restricts the power to the flywheel and also restricts the power to the engine and all the com and to all the computers so you can't hit the top speed that your car's meant to do so i hope this is going to help a lot of you guys out there who want more power from your car thank you very much for watching this bmw dr dean here and goodbye